So solve the third one. This is, you know, it's not a decimal. Just 56 into 50. So some students have doubt, you know, you're getting 98 as the answer. So let us see this particular part again. So what we got this? 544 divided by 16 into 32 minus 766 plus 224. So in that particular part, as we are considering this, so you know, 16 again, two times it goes. So 544 into 2, what you will get? 544 into 2, that is 1088 minus 766 plus 224. So if you want, either you solve, you know, this particular equation first or you solve this particular equation. If you are solving this particular equation, consider this minus sign. Consider this minus sign. You have to consider that minus sign. So when that, when that particular thing is considered, only then you get the answer. So first you can consider, you know, either solve this or you can consider all the plus signs together. So either way, whichever way you go, you get the same answer. I'll show you all the methods, you get the same answer. So let us see that, you know, if, you, if I take this particular thing, 1088 minus 766. So 2, 2, 322 you got. So 322 plus 224. 546 as the answer. Second method, how you people are telling this minus was that one. So if you have to consider, you know, uh, let us say minus 666 plus 224. So whenever you are doing this particular part, you know, you just minus. So this is a minus sign. So just consider in this in the bracket. So if it is in the brackets, this will become minus. This will become minus. So 766 minus 224, how much you'll get? So you'll get 2, 4, 542. So again, 1088 minus 542. Let us see what you'll get here. So 6, 4, 10 minus 5, 546. So in this method also, you get 546. Whichever method you do, you, go, you have to get the answer as 546. Okay. See, always remember, there are 0.33 there. 0 0.25 there or 0.5 there, right? So 0 0.33 avak barte any number let us say 1 by 3 to andre 0 0.33 barte 1 by 4 it to andre barte 0 0.25 barte similarly 1 by 2 it to andre 0 0.5 barte yes or no? So to remove this particular part, what is this 0 0.33 avak barte 1 by 3 daga? If you are dividing it by 3, you have to also multiply by 3. Any number, you know, let us say 640, if you're dividing it, you know, by yourself, if you're dividing it, you should also multiply. Only when these cut, it actually happens, right? Because this we are doing for simpler calculation. So here, we can just multiply, let us say, so let us say here in this particular part, 58.33. We just need to multiply this, right? Multiply, this will become a whole number. Yes or no? So when you are multiplying this, you should also what? Divide by 3. Similarly, of 408, I'll just write down the question again. Of 408 plus 62.5 then. Take it back on just multiply by into 2. So this will become what? 62.5. I mean, obviously, percentage then this here uh, uh, of na madila will do that particular part. So 62.5 percentage that is multiply by 2 divide by 2 percentage of 360 is equal to 18x. So when you do this particular calculation, is it simple? Yes. So what will happen here? I'll just write down here 58 into 3, 58.33 into 3. So first, whenever you're multiplying this, multiply 58 into 3 plus 0 0.33 into 3. That is 1. So you just need to add plus 1. So multiply 58 into 3, how much you will get? 150 plus 24, that is 174 plus your 0 0.33 into 3. So that becomes what? 175 divided by 3. 175 divided by 3. I'm rewriting the question again. Percentage of 408 plus 62.5 into 2 is what? Hmm? 125 divided by 2 
परसेंटेज ऑफ 360 सिक्सटी इज इक्वल टू एटीन एक्स ओके सो जस्ट सॉल्व नाउ नाउ इट इज ईजी सो वाट इज पर्सेंटेज एन तो अंद्रे वन सेवेंटी फाइव इज पर्सेंटेज मीन वाट डिवेड बै हंड्रेड इंटू फोर जीरो प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवेड बै टू टू हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी Is equal to 18x. Now you are solving. Tell me what you'll get. So three. How many times four zero eight? One, three, one eight, one thirty six. So one seventy five to one thirty six. So here also. Now oh, let us say one eighty. I'm keeping this as hundred. Here also hundred. So easier LCM again at a time. So I won't change the hundred part. So one twenty five into one eighty divided by hundred. Is equal to 18x. So multiply this, multiply this. Tell me that particular number. We'll add it. Then we'll divide by 18. So what is this 175 into 136? How much you'll get? Dot number is there. That doesn't mean you just leave off like that. You need to do it. Some other day when I'm doing start sync once, I'll show you Vedic math. So this is a very simple calculation. You can do it. So now you do the normal method only. Quickly, you tell me how much you'll get. Zero three seven six zero forty forty two forty five four six one zero five zero five twenty one twenty two five and one seventy five six eight twelve three two three eight zero zero you got did you get two three eight zero zero similarly one twenty five into one eighty how much you'll get two two five zero zero So just adding on, eight five is a eight plus five, six four six three zero. So can I just write down this directly over here? The answer as four six three zero zero divided by hundred is equal to eighteen x. So two zeros cancelled here. This eighteen will go here. So four sixty three divided by eighteen is equal to x. So how much you get? You get this quickly. Tell me. Just do the simple calculation. With decimal, it will come, man. So two times thirty-six. You should be very quick in calculating. So twenty-five times ninety. So thirteen ninety point five six ninety one zero eight. Did you get seven twenty-five point seven two? So x you will get as twenty-five point seven two as the answer. So x is equal to twenty five point seven two. Did you get that particular answer? Yes. 